Just over one month ago, I made this video. I'm trying out an experiment where I add 13 ad breaks to one YouTube video. There's a link to that video in the description. If you click on the eye, it should be on screen now, but don't watch that video because this is the update. This is one month later. What happened to the video where I added 13 ad breaks to one video? You can skip ahead if you like, but here is me adding 13 ad breaks to one video. Ad break. <laughs> ad break. It's pure. Ad break. <laughs> oh, so we are now one month on and oh my goodness, it's now mid November. That happened sort of around the end of the first week of October. You're gonna see everything. I'm gonna go into the analytics. You're gonna see how much revenue I get now, how much I got then. It's a good way for you to see my analytics and all my revenue statistics and Google AdSense money. Oh, hello, by the way, my name is Neil Nossi. I'm a development producer helping high achieving creators and performers just like you. There goes the sound effect. To get ideas out of your head, and out onto here on YouTube because we need it. There's some horrible, horrible stuff on YouTube. We really need your videos. So I do these experiments to show what it's like to be a beginner. I'm not yet proven. This is how my analytics looks because I'm monetized. I've got over 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. And if you're aiming to get that, I hope this video helps. I'll try and show you some statistics along the way. You can see I'm getting $232 this month, but we're gonna go into the individual videos and I'll go into my Valence Boiler video. The video is of me reading the, <laughs> the instruction manual for a central heating boiler. I think in other countries you call it a furnace. Oh, it's a very dull video. And I don't expect anyone to watch it. So I'm hoping that 13 ad breaks will mean that there is some extra revenue uh, along the way. You can see the graph violently veers upwards. That's not because of my experiments. That is because it's getting cold and people are looking up videos on how to set their, their boiler. So I'm a little bit disappointed <laughs> that the graph is going up quite steadily. Look, that's me impersonating the, the graph in arm form. And it's estimating a revenue for the last month up till today of $22. Now, this is another reason why this is a terrible experiment. It's getting colder, so more people are going to be watching anyway. But let's compare this 28 days with October. Right, so in October, I got $24, which is two days extra. So it hasn't really had any effects whatsoever on my revenue. Oh my goodness. If I compare it with September, you can see this upswing from... 47 views to 225 views. That is literally when it got cold here in the UK. Uh, so it meant that the revenue used to be around, sort of around the 20 cents per day mark. And then when it got cold, it's up to the $1 a day level. So that's September. I actually added the ad breaks on the 5th of October. So if I go to the 90 days view, I added the ad breaks here. This was the day, so I got 58 cents that day. And then for two days, the revenue went down. I think this might be more to do with the weather in this country than me adding 13 ad breaks. I just don't think it actually had that much effect. Looking at these peaks, because it's still really bumping around somewhere between the 65 cents and $1.22 level. So if you were expecting my revenue to just boom, explode. It really didn't. I think the results of this <laughs> particular experiment is inconclusive. I'll add a inconclusive, a really tasteful inconclusive graphic on my face there, or maybe on my forehead. Inconclusive. I'm not disappointed, I'm just surprised. I thought the revenue would go up. Let's look at the watch time. The average view duration for this video was three minutes and four seconds. In October, it, it goes down a bit. And let's take a look at the last 28 days. It's, it's still at, at 3.04. So if this helps, adding a load of ad breaks to my one video hasn't damaged the average view duration at all. But all is not lost because I added more ad breaks to more videos. Let's take a look. This is me adding ad breaks to my bus blind video. This is a video that I really do not and should not have on my channel where I build a nice picture frame for my bus destination blind. And these are the analytics. So since I I published my bus blind video. I've earned $1.99. And if I click on the revenue, the 
revenue is growing steadily but again there's no big change after the 5th of October which is right in the middle of that upward slope. Let's take a look at the last 28 days and compare that with October. So for the last 28 days I've earned 43 cents. Let's compare that with September where I earned 50 cents. <laughs> October this video earned me 38 cents so the revenue went down quite a lot well 10 cents but proportionally it feels like a lot I added the extra ad breaks on the 5th of October which is here and to me it looks like I was earning more money that's my chair sorry <laughs> it looks like I was earning more money before the 5th of October than afterwards we can move on going from one ad break to six ad breaks the result is inconclusive or it's, it's, it's conclusive and the revenue didn't go up at all. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got another experiment. This chair, it's honestly, it's the chair, it's not me. This next video is me explaining to a UK audience how to buy postage online. My biggest fear with this video is that I don't earn that much money anyway because it's for a UK specific audience and we get a much lower RPM which is revenue per melee or revenue per thousand views. Now I think that graph is going up just a tiny bit more steeply. Let's go to the last 90 days. That looks like the revenue has gone up. If I put my marker on the 5th of October, that's when I added five ad breaks where there was only one ad break. And I think the revenue there looks like it has really very much gone up. It's kind of covering an area that looks like double the value. If I put the marker on the 5th of October, how weird is that? That the day that I added a load of ad breaks, it got $1.87. That couldn't have been from me clicking on it, could it? I, which I don't do and you bad things will happen from YouTube if you try to click on your own videos. That's weird, isn't it? Isn't that an uncanny coincidence that the day I added five extra ad breaks, it did a crazy amount of revenue that day. It looks like the peaks are higher after I added the extra ad breaks. Leave a comment down below, uh, tell me what you think. So let's compare the figures. For September, my revenue was $8.51. And then in October, $15.84. So I doubled, I doubled my money. Now the views only went up by 500 from 1.2 to 1.7, but the revenue went up from $8.51 to $15.84. This is conclusive, <laughs> I'm calling this. The revenue definitely has doubled by adding five mid-roll ad breaks to this video. It's definitely had a positive impact. And if I look at November, we're only halfway through the month. $16 and that's 28 days rather than a 30 day calendar month. I'm definitely getting much more revenue now with five ad breaks than with one ad breaks. So I'm quite happy about that. Let's see the effect on my watch time because if the watch time drops it might mean that, that YouTube offers it to fewer people. My average view duration is 3 minutes 27 seconds. In October when I added the ad breaks it goes up a little. 3 minutes 34 up 3% uh, there. For the last 28 days the average view duration is 338. So my average view duration has gone up even though I've added five ad breaks, my view duration has gone up. I think that bizarrely having an ad break means that a viewer has to actively click skip ads. And I think psychologically that might not be a negative thing. I'm wondering what if psychologically people watch longer because they are actively skipping ads. It's like an affirmation that yes, I want to watch this video. If you want to know how to actually physically add the ad breaks, that video is here where I add the, the 13 ad breaks. It walks you through the entire process. And if you want to follow and track some of my other YouTube experiments, please hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. So thanks for taking me closer. And down here is what YouTube thinks you should be watching next.